So we have seen a lot of people who are confused about the RPA life cycle. So just to simplify that, we have a small presentation on that. So the RPA life cycle on a broader level will consist of all these six phases, taking from process identification to the maintenance. Let's try to dig into each of these phases. First phase, process identification. In this thing, we will try to identify a process which can be automated. And then once it is gathered, then we will dig deeper into the requirement gathering stage where we will try to understand the process that we are trying to automate. And then if it's done, the next step will be getting the approvals from the stakeholders and the business so that we can go forward and implement it. And if it's done, then we will try to obtain the access to the required applications that we are intended to use. And the phase two, which is design. Here, the major thing that we will deal is we'll work on obtaining the process information and designing the to be process flow. And we will try to understand the expected exceptions. And as a second thing, we will try to create various documents that will actually illustrate the process that we are trying to automate. The documents might be PDD and SDD. And as a final step, we'll try to get the sign off from the SMEs for all the documents that we have prepared so that we are confident that whatever we have gathered, the information that we have gathered is all true. Then comes the development phase. Here, the development team will start off with the implementation. Then they will perform few unit tests on the developed code. And as a final thing, they will try to integrate the smaller modules developed by the team members to make up a fully functional code. And finally, they will have a peer code review session through which they will try to improve the solution and will try to optimize this as much as possible. Once that is done, we are into the phase four, which is testing and UAT. Here, the QA team will try to prepare the test cases and we'll try to get them approved. And as a second step right here, they will try to execute these test cases and will keep a track of the bugs that they might face during the execution of those test cases. Then they will try to prepare the production readiness documents and the user manuals, which can help the business team to handle the process and to better understand the automated process. And as a step five, we have the deployment. This is the stage where the bots are deployed into the production environment. And yeah, here is where we are, we will try to uh, like transfer everything from the uh, client side, okay, from the development team to the business. And here we are into phase six, which is maintenance. This is the final stage and here we will just keep an eye on the automated process and we'll look for any possible improvements. Improvements like improvements in the performance, security enhancements and if there are any change requests that we might get will be taken care of in this particular stage. So that was about the life cycle. So Coming to the duration of an RPA project, it might go from like seven days from to 70 days. Okay, so that's the general time span of a project in RPA. So that was about the RPA life cycle. Hope the presentation has helped you to understand it. Thanks.